I swear eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man. Baby, we're supposed to be one big happy family. Yeah, right. Someday you're gonna learn I'm a really romantic kind of guy. Is there anything else? There's another box behind the door that I forgot. It's too big for me. Is this? It's Zoe, Luke. I've got to see you. Good old Zoe. Where are you? I'm in front of your building. Well, uh, you want to come up? No. Luke, I'm in trouble and I need your help. Okay, I'll be right down. You must be doing pretty good these days. You're a tough man to find. Well, you found me. It's been a long time, Zoe. Almost three years. So you gonna tell me what trouble you're in this time? It's not just me, Luke. I don't believe this. You got a baby. <laughs> Ain't there a big fella? It's a girl. Her name is Gabby. This is cute. Luke, my feelings haven't changed. I still care about you. Save it, Zoe. A good old reliable Luke. Patch your emotions back together, fix the trouble you're in, and then you're just gonna hit the road again. No. No, not this time. Come on, Zoe. I know you remember. You can tell me what trouble you're in. Okay, let me guess. Uh, 
You're running away from your old man. I'm not married. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, it's... It's okay. Well, who's the father? You are. <laughs> The French Premier, sir, his move. Ah, go ahead, Bennett. <clears throat> Damn. Did he get out of the trap, sir? Damn. I gather he did. The man's good, I'll give him that. He's a bloody genius. All right, I think I got him. I think I might have him. Good. I know you hate to lose. Well, I don't mind losing to Grand Masters. It's the politicians I hate. Luke's here. Luke? I thought our meeting was on Monday. I don't think it has anything to do with normal business. I think he's got a problem. Send him in. Send him in. Uh... Mr. Addington, sir? Uh, I wonder if I could have a moment with you. Well, don't stand there, Luke. Come in, come in. What's that you got there? Well, it's uh, sort of a baby. Yeah, I can see that. Why is it here? Well, sir... Um... It looks like you. You know? I do now. Stay here, honey. Sir. Mr. Addington, there's this woman that I knew when we, we had this, this thing. Thing? Yeah, okay, well, you could say that we were in love. Anyway, last night she shows up at my door with this little... Thing, yeah. Does this thing have a name? Yeah, Gabby. Anyway, her, her mother, uh, mother says she's in some kind of trouble. What kind of trouble? This woman says trouble, believe me. There's trouble. No, where is she now? I'm the mother. She's in New York. Uh, I'm supposed to get the baby to her, and then hopefully we'll be able to sort this whole thing out. You love her? What? I don't know. All right, what do you need? I need some time off. You got it. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Nice move, but wouldn't have done it myself. Fool. Letting her get away with the child. I thought she could be trusted. I will get it back, Mr. Lawrence. You're damn right you will. I want that child here by tomorrow morning. What happened? She just, she just took off. Believe me, I'm surprised as you are. Don't worry, Mr. Lawrence. I got a few ideas where she might be. She'll turn up. It'll be okay. I want you to find the child. And I don't want Zoe to turn up. Get it? Yes, Mr. Lawrence. I got it. She knows too much. Bienvenue à l'aéroport Charles de Gaulle. Peter, Nikki, are you there? Ah, yes, sir. We're right here. What's the emergency? Luke's not there with you, is he? No. Nope. What's going on? Well, I think he's in more trouble than he can handle. What now? Well, I've given him the use of the plane. He's heading for New York. I want you to keep an eye on him, but don't let him know it. Make up some believable excuse as to why you're both there. I'll back you up. Well, can't you give us a bit more to go on than that? Uh, uh, don't worry, sir. Bye. We'll take care of that business in New York. 
What business in New York? Oh, it uh, seems that Alexander's got some problems with one of his subsidiaries. It uh, smacks of corporate espionage to me. And who is our new passenger? This is Gabby. Hi, Gabby. It's my daughter. Well, fortunately, she obviously gets her looks from her mother. <gasps> Mon Dieu, does this mean you're getting your brains from your daddy? Uh, you guys are oh. both just jealous. <laughs> They're both just jealous. <laughs> OK, come on, sweetie. I'm going to fix you a nice dinner. Come, and you can call me Auntie Nikki. Can you say Nikki? Yes. Good. Say it again, Nikki. Yes. Yes, that's very good. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, Luke, it's none of my business. But a simple blood test would... You're right, Pete. It's none of your business. Do you have any trouble? Nope. Are you mad at me? How far? For springing all of this on you? What is it then? Zoe. I know. I know the arithmetic and everything works out, but. Uh... I'm not a whore, Luke. I may have been a lot of things, but I'm not a whore. Okay. Forget about it. Uh. Just forget about it. I mean, this whole thing is real new for me, you know? Everything's gonna be okay now, Luke. We have a baby. You and me finally have something that'll hold us together. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 Zoe. You wanna back up a little here? You and I. We have some stuff to sort out. Mm -hmm. And it'll be just like it was in Barcelona. Do you remember? Only this time it'll be better. Because this time there's three of us, Luke. Slow down, honey. Just take it easy. You're the one that left me, remember? And now you want me to run away and play house together? And I think you owe it to me to tell me what you're running from. And I am telling you, okay? It's nothing. Nothing. Luke, I've changed, all right? I've got money now. I'm not doing so bad. OK, then. So we could go someplace. We could go any place. I don't care. I just want to be with you. That's all I've ever wanted. Oh, Zoe. Mommy. Your timing stinks, kid. Mm -hmm. oh. Luke, she's soaking wet. 
Where are the diapers that I gave you? I used the last one on the airplane. Never mind. There's a store down the street. No, no, no. You stay here, honey. I'll go. I'll be right back. There we go, sweetheart. Mama's gonna give you a nice bath, okay? Do you like that? Yeah. yeah. Go, sweetheart. You don't want to be with strangers, do you? You got them back for me, didn't you, Gabby? And I love you. And I'll love you forever. I promise. What did you forget, Luke? What did I forget? What did I forget? I forgot that it's a mistake to trust a woman. Exactly. Not exactly. You are the child's father. Yeah, I, yeah, I think so. You think so? Listen, a couple days ago, she came to my apartment in Paris. Paris? I think we should go downtown and figure this yeah, out. Yeah, Paris. She, she told me, uh, she told me I'm the child's father. Now you're not hearing anything I'm saying, are you? There's ya? been attempted murder here. Right now, you're the only one I feel like talking to. Bring him down. What? Am I arrested? Am I arrested? Why don't you have to fight the guy that did this? Damn it, Peter. If only I'd asked Luke who that girl was from the very start. Well, I don't think that would have changed anything, sir. What have you managed to find out? No, nothing much. She's a drifter. Left school at 14, had the odd job, never stayed in one place for very long. She has a police record. I'm sending you a copy. Yeah, petty stuff, mostly. It turns out that originally she came from New York. Each time she got into trouble, the same woman bailed her out. <laughs> Strange, that. Anyway, you've got the name and address. It's a Mrs. Jackson? No. Jackson. Forgery. A lot of mileage on it. Your lady friend's into something illegal. You want to tell us what she's been smuggling? Look, I don't know nothing about her smuggling. Now, you want to tell me how she's doing? She's hanging on. If you're so anxious to see her, why don't you show us a little cooperation and answer a few questions? I've told you everything that I know. What a history this Zoe has. This friend of yours. 14 priors, minor league stuff, possession of marijuana, stock counterfeiting scam. Well, the ubiquitous Peter Sinclair. Hi, Larry. What brings you to the Big Apple? I'm on temporary assignment. What can I do for you? Huh? 
I'm here to post bail for Mr. Brunner. How do you know this guy? I think we'll just leave it at that, Larry, OK? Let's not leave it at that. You can post as much bail as you damn well like, but not before this guy sees the DA. Come on. No, come on, nothing. We are talking about attempted murder. And have ten minutes with him, that's all. Come on. I guess New York changes people. Look, Pete, you know, I... Come on, come on, come on. You don't have to explain yourself to me. Thank God. I don't know what kind of stuff Zoe was into. But whoever attempted to kill her is going to try again. this time. And before you say anything else, I ain't got no money. But don't worry. I don't want any money. Zoe's in trouble. It ain't the first time. You bailed Zoe out of jail three times before. How well do you know her? I'm a mother. She's my kid. She's in the hospital. Someone shot her. How is she? She's in good hands. But they kidnapped her baby. Her baby? What baby? What are you talking about? Your granddaughter. She's missing. Zoe's good at a con, but she ain't that good. Zoe ain't got no kid. What? Eh, she always wanted kids, but they messed up her insides. You mean... Zoe can't have no babies. Not since the abortion. Five years ago. Thanks. Now Zoe's hanging on, but she probably won't last the week. You don't have a week, Manny. What do you want me to do? Nothing. You failed twice. I can take care of it. Mr. Lawrence. Oh, in here. Good morning, Manny. You wanted to see me? Oh, yeah, sit down, Andrea. Manny, there's an envelope in my car. Would you go get it? Yes. You, uh, you knew Zoe McFarland, didn't you? Yes, not very well. She was kind of a loner. Didn't have many friends. Mr. Lawrence, whatever Zoe did, she did alone. Oh, I know that. Andrea, it's an errand I'd like you to do for me. Yes, sir. I booked you on the 735 to New York. Manny will tell you what to do. Once the assignment is done, Take a vacation. I don't have to hear from you for, for some time. I'll make myself clear? Yes, sir. Oh, Andrea. Don't let me down. Uh, yes, sir. It's uh, Peter. Oh, yes. How's the girl? Well, not good, I'm afraid. It's a 50-50 chance at best. And Luke? He should be here at any minute. He was released at 10. Yes, I wish I knew what you could say to him. Be careful. You know what he is when he gets something stuck in his head. Yes, sir, I do. Bye. Okay, Lawrence Nightingale. You 
shit is over. Sit down. We're not the police. But I'm sure they'd like to meet you should I make the introduction. Who hired you? What the hell's going on? Outside, sport. Come on. Come on. Where's Zoe? Don't worry, she's safe. We moved her to a safe location during the night. Nikki's just been lying in for her. Well, I gotta see her. What about this guy that took Gabby? Have you found the creep yet? What have hold, you been doing, it, Pete? Hold, look, hold it. What? Oh, buddy, I really don't know how to tell you this. Gabby is not your child. Not in the mood for this. She's not Zoe's either. Zoe can't have children. Not since an abortion she had five years ago. And whose child is she? We have no idea. You're being very foolish. Yeah, well, they're gonna kill me if I talk. I'll kill you if you don't. Come on, no one's gonna kill you. Just tell us what we wanna know. Where's the baby? Okay. Seems as though I'm going to have to call my friends, the police. Okay. Okay. The baby's going to be adopted. By whom? By somebody who can afford it, I guess. And where are the real parents? Daddy was kidnapped, wasn't she? I don't know. That wasn't part of my job. What was your job? Come on. Look, I did the same job as Zoe. We're couriers. After these kids are located, they give us identification as their mothers, and we travel with them. And what happened to Zoe? Zoe wanted a damn baby so much, she thought she'd just take one. OK. We need names. Who do you work for? I've told you everything I know. Look what we've got here. What is it? You got up very early this morning. 7.35 from Toronto. OK, come on. Who's in Toronto? I don't know. I get my instructions over the phone. Look, can I get out of here? Yes, go. Go. Go! Get out! I thought you said you weren't going to call the police. If you cooperate, we'll cooperate. Well, we've been checking on missing children. The lists are long and depressing. What happened to poor little Gabby is not unique. Every day, children are snatched from the streets of every major city in the world. Yeah, well, we already know this operation spans at least two continents. So it clearly isn't a penny ante operation. Look, what about that airline ticket? <laughs> the tickets were purchased by a Toronto law firm that specializes in adoption. Lawrence Myers and Rumbold. Yeah, well, I think I'd better pay them a visit. Well, if they're attorneys, Peter, they're hardly going to volunteer information. Well, don't worry about that, sir. No, I've got an idea. What do you mean that Hershes didn't show? He sent a message. They've gone back to Oklahoma. They decided not to take the baby. They can't change their minds now. He said something about the legalities. They're going to go through regular adoption channels. All right. Hang tight here. I'll go check the files back at the office. Somebody in January won a little girl. And you've got an appointment at 3. Yeah, right. What about Zoe? According to the hospital, she died at 9.55 this morning. Oops. Oh, okay. We've tried everything. Nothing worked. Finally, we decided to adopt. And we've been through all the adoption agencies. And they told us that it could take five years, even if we qualified. And even then, the child's mother could take six months to change her mind. After all we've been through, I couldn't stand it. And anyhow, Mr. Lawrence, we rather suspect that we won't qualify. I understand, Mr. Richards. That's why I'm going to personally handle your case. How soon could we be parents? Well, actually, Mrs. Richards, soon. Very soon. 
our qualifications are different from the standard channels, but you realize, of course, we must still check your credentials. Yes, of course, Mr. Lawrence, we understand. And I brought all the documents that your secretary requested. And the uh, fee we discussed? Yes, of course. You, uh, do you understand, Mr. Richards, that uh, I am strictly an advisor to my clients. My fee covers only those services. Yes, we understand. And for the child? Small non consecutive bills. All right. It will be awaiting you at the Addington offices in Toronto. Good luck. Thank you. Lay out. Father, is something wrong? No, no, no. I was. I was just thinking about luck. Don't worry about them. You've hired three of the luckiest people in the world. I wasn't thinking about them. I was thinking about me. <laughs> How about a little dinner at that uh, Italian restaurant around the corner? Remember? Just you and me. Mm. You sure that device is going to work? Luke? It will work. Micro tracking system. I want you guys to get the Eddington bills. Bring them back here to me. I'll put these wrappers around it. And then we just follow the money. Hello? Yes. This is Mrs. Richards. Meet me at 8 o'clock in the parking lot. Fine. Meet a black Mercedes. Yes, I understand. A black Mercedes. Yes, we have the money. We're on. Eight o'clock, a parking lot near the dome. Right there. Piece of cake. That must be his man. Have you got the money? Where's the child? Not here. Come on. Richards, allow me. Won't be long now.
Where's the child? I'd like the briefcase first, please. <laughs> if I was simply going to steal your money, Mr. Richards, I could have done that quite easily in the parking lot. Give it to him, darling. Thank you. Wait here, please. if you come with me you know this bit is almost as exciting for me as it is for you yes but I'm a bit nervous though well, I'm sure you are please have a seat Thanks. it's always wonderful when a child finds a good home Louise please come down here Though she's taken a shine to you. Oh, yes. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, darling, why don't you and the gentleman finish off the paperwork while I get to know the baby? What the hell is going on here? Vicky, is that you? Is that your name? Can the act, lady. Darling, I think that maybe. Think again, pal. Come on, calm down. Go. What the hell is this? Louise, take the kid upstairs. Louise, take the kid upstairs! Now, move it! Go on, sweetheart. It's gonna be all right. Gus, get in here! What the hell's going on? Start talking. I have a friend. I should say had a friend. Zoe McFarlane. I saw Gabby with her one day and I just fell in love with the baby. I tried to make a private deal with Zoe, but she died before we could do it. You've got to believe me. I love this child. My husband and I would just want to give her a good home. Where'd you meet Zoe? In Paris. When? Two months ago. Sorry, Lydia, way off. Two months ago, Zoe was in jail in Germany. What about you? You a cop? Like the old movie says, what we got here is a failure to come. No!
recognized a woman. What? The guy had a gun, and I think this might be a setup. What should we do with him? Well, well get rid of him. And get out of there. Yes, sir. Look, I don't... If I don't get the information I want, now! Then I'm gonna redecorate your fancy office with your own blood. Come on! help for them, I'm afraid. Yeah, it looks like our old friend Lawrence was running a tidy little racket. He would lead innocent prospective parents down devious paths simply because he knew who had the money to go behind the law. Now he faces the strictest penalty that law will provide. Yeah, well, thank God for that. She's all right, though, right? Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be fine. Hmm. What was her real name? I can't tell you that. All right, of course. This is one gem you can't get me out of, huh? <laughs> Zoe. I don't know how to say this. I know I've made a big enough mess out of your life. So why don't you just say what you came here to say? Goodbye, Zoe. and form commissions on the welfare of children. But unless we can ensure love in the home and safety in the streets, all our work will be for nothing. 